Hello, this is lesson 2.2. How to round multi digit numbers. We have two ways, guys, here to round. We have the number line and we have the place value. First, let's see how we use a number line to round. Here it says round 27 to the nearest 10. Okay, so to the nearest 10, I look here at the tens, and the tens here is 20. So we need to see if the 27 can be around to 20 or 30. So we see it stays 20 or it goes to 30. So we put here on the left on the number line 20 and on the right 30. And we need to know that 27 is where on the number line. Okay, we know that in the middle of 20 and 30, in the middle between 20 and 30, this is the 25, okay? So the 5 is in the middle between 0 and 10. So here 25 is in the middle between 20 and 30. Now ask yourself, the 27 is where? Is the 27 here or here? So, yeah, the 27 is after the 25. So, it can be, for example, here. So, here is the 27. Now, the question. Is the 27 close to 20 or close to 30? Mm, it's very clear that the 27 is closer to the 30. So, we round the 27 to 30. Another question here. Around 896 to the nearest 10. Look at the tens. It's 9 here, which is 90. Okay, if you are counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, if we have here 890, what comes after it by 10? So it will be 900. So here we will have 890. And after 890 by 10, we will get 900. Okay, so 890 or 900. In the halfway, in the middle, we have, like always, 890. Not 91, not 92, not 93, not 94. We have 895. Okay. So, we see the 896 is where? It's here just after the 895. Now, the question, is it close to 890 or close to 900? Yeah, it's very close to the 900. So, the 896 to the nearest end is 900. So, the rule here, guys. If the number is in the halfway or after, we go to the bigger number. So, if it's a 25 or more, we go to 30. If it's 24 or 23 or 21 or even 20 we round it to 20 okay here the halfway is 895 so anything from 895 and more like 895 896 897 898 899 or even the 900 we round it to 900 so teacher what if it's exactly in the middle we we round it to the bigger number so even if it's 25 so it's in the middle we round it to 30 if the question was 895 we round it to 900 okay so here is the first way using the number line we have another way using place value before we know how to use place value to round we must know this thing okay 
we have weak numbers and strong numbers and the weak numbers are 0 1 2 3 and 4 only not the 5 because the 5 is strong okay so the strong numbers they are 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay so what do these numbers do if it's a weak number weak numbers they do nothing to a number and strong numbers they push up a number and we will know exactly which number they push okay so you have to know now that we have weak numbers and these weak numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 and strong numbers they are 5 6 7 8 9 the weak numbers they do nothing the strong numbers they push up the number by one or just do plus one to a number okay now let's see how okay so let me write the weak and strong again so here the weak numbers they are zero one two three and four the strong numbers they are five six seven eight and nine okay so here we have a question round 48 to the nearest 10 round 48 to the nearest 10 first to the nearest 10 I want you to circle the tens which is the four and underline the ones underline the eight okay so the first digit this is the ones then tens then hundreds so it says round to the nearest ten so we circle the tens which is the four and underline the ones which is the eight okay now we have a rule guys the circle what is on the right to it we make it zero and what is at the left we write it so here to the right of the circle we have eight so we write zero so this eight dies and become it becomes zero okay so now we ask ourselves about the underlying digit if it's weak or strong the eight is one of the strong digits so the eight is a strong digit so we push the four to five or we give it one or we add one to the four so it will be five so the answer is 50 so again what I did is I need to round to the nearest ten so I circle the tens and I underline the ones so the underlying digit which is the eight is a strong so it pushed the four to be five okay let's have another one round 273 to the nearest 10 so again to the nearest 10 we circle the tens where is the tens here in 273 3 is the ones 7 is the tens and 2 is the hundreds so we circle the tens which is the 7 and we underline the ones which is the 3 and we see the underlying digit is weak or strong okay so to the right of the circle we we'll make it zero so this three became zero and we need to know this seven we keep it seven or it will be eight so the underlying digit is three the underlying digit is three and this three is weak so we keep the seven it do it does nothing okay so the three is weak do not make the seven eight okay we leave it seven so we write here the seven don't change it because we have the three which is weak digit okay what at the left of the circle which is the two you write it don't change it okay so at the right of the circle we make it zeros at the left we write it don't change it and we look at the right of the circle the underlying digit if it's weak 
we keep what is inside the circle. If it's strong, we push what is inside the circle by one, or we add one to it. Okay, let's have more examples here. Use a number line to round. Round 436 to the nearest 100. Okay, so here we need to use a number line. We will draw a number line. So this is a number line. And the question is round 436 to the nearest 100. And the 100 here is 4, 400. So I ask myself, I need to keep this at 400 or go to 500. So on the left here, I write 400. And on the right, I write 500. And in the middle between 400 and 500 is what? Yes, it's 450. It is not 410 or 20 or 30 or 40. It's 450. It's in the halfway between 400 and 500. Okay, now the question. 436 goes where? Here or here? 436 is before the 450. So, it can be here. This is the 436. So, is it close to 400? or close to 500 it's really close to 400 so we round the 436 to 400 so 436 rounded to the nearest 100 is 400 so you have to focus guys is it asking to the nearest 100 or to the nearest 10 okay we have another one here round 672 to the nearest 100 Okay, let's draw our number line. Okay, we draw our number line here. And here we have 672. It says to the nearest 100. So the 100 here is 6. And we need to know, will it stay at 600 or it will go to 700? So we write here 600. And here 700 okay so the middle of the hundreds is 50 so in the middle here we have 650 now the question 672 goes where here or here yes 672 is bigger than 650 so it may be here so here 672 Okay, it's after the half, guys, after the middle. So, is it close to 600 or closer to 700? Yes, it's closer to the 700. So, 672 rounded to the nearest 100 is 700. Okay, let's have another question. How can the number 78 round to 80 and 100? Okay, think guys. How can the 78 round to 80 and how it can be rounded to 100? It's really clear the 78 can be 80 if we round it to what? To the nearest 10 or to the nearest 100? Yes, to the nearest 10. So, 78 to the nearest 10 is, okay, circle the 10s, which is the 7, underline the 1s, which is the 8, okay, we said anything to the right of the circle will make it 0, so the 8 we make it 0. And because the 8 is weak or strong, because the 8 is strong, it pushed the 7 to 8. So we give 1 to the 7, it will be 8. So it's 80. Okay? So 78 to the nearest 10 is 80. And how can it be 100? Mm, 
let's see if we can round it to the nearest 100. Okay, so 78 to the nearest 100 is. Okay, to the nearest 100. Teacher, we have only 1s and 10s. The 8 is the 1s, the 7 is the 10s. How can we round it to the 100s? Okay, look here. In the hundreds, what do we have, guys? In the hundreds, we have zero. We have nothing. Okay? So, in the hundreds, we have zero. So, this is the hundreds, guys. Okay? Follow the same rule. Circle the hundreds. Circle the zero. Underline the tens, the seven. Anything to the right of the circle, make them zero. So, here, the seven and eight, I'll make them zero and zero. Okay, now the question, 7 is weak or strong? Yeah, 7 is strong. So what we do to the digit inside the circle? What we do to the 0? We push it to 1. We give it 1. So it will be 100. So 78 rounded to the nearest 100 is 100. And rounded to the nearest 10 is 80. Okay, last question, guys. A number rounded to the nearest 10 is... 240 what number could it be okay we can have many numbers rounded to the nearest 10 and we get 240 okay for example what about 239 yeah 239 if I round it to the nearest 10 I get 240 because if I circle the tens the 3 underline the 1s, which is the 9. The 9 is strong. It puts the 3 into 4. So it will be 240. And like this, we can use also 238. Because the 8 is strong, it puts the 3 to 4. 237. 236. 235. What about 234? Oh, the 4 is weak. The 4 is weak. So the 3 stays 3. So this will be 230. So this is wrong. So it can't be 234. So the minimum or the smallest number it can be 235. Okay? Because the 5 is strong, it gives the 3 1. It will be 4. Okay. Can it be 240 or more? Actually, it can be 240. Because the 0 is weak, so it stays 4. So here we can use 240. We can use also 241, 242, 243, 244. Okay, because the 0 and the 1 and the 2 and the 3 and the 4, these are weak digits. It will keep the 4. It will do nothing to the 4. Okay, but if you use 245... No, the 5 is strong. It will make it 250. So, no. So, these are the numbers. If you round them, you get... To, if you round them to the nearest 10, you get 240. Okay, thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Bye.